We're coming off a violent weekend here in Indianapolis with several more shootings. Unfortunately, some of the victims did not survive, including two of five people shot outside the Sawmill Saloon on the southeast side. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson joins us there live tonight after talking to an eyewitness to the violence there. Steve. Anne Marie and John, that eyewitness, said he saw the gunfire here in out front of the salon you see saloon you see behind me. He says the gunfire actually started in the parking lot over to my right. He not only showed me where police found one of the guns used, but he also showed me video that he recorded on his cell phone. This cell phone video shows the dozens of Metro police officers who rushed to the sawmill saloon about shots fired. The man who recorded it did not want his face shown, but witnessed the shootout. He got hit and he went down and they, he laid on the ground and exchanged gunfire for a few seconds. Then he got up and took off running up the driveway and hopped the fence and hit the pistol. The eyewitness says police found the hidden pistol behind this rake and the man who hit it succumbed to his injuries after jumping the back fence. Out of the five people shot outside the saloon, 24-year-old Duran Gray and 50-year-old James Ratcliffe did not survive. The saloon tries to keep weapons out, even has a sign posted, but outside, according to the witness, may be a different story. They search you from the door and wind them down. Metro police stayed busy all weekend responding to shots fired at locations like these seen on this map we made for you. Friday afternoon, officers who heard gunfire near 37th and Baltimore eventually found a man in the middle of the street who had been shot dead. Saturday, police launched an investigation after a robber shot a Penn Station sandwich shop employee during a robbery. Sunday afternoon, officers recovered the car of a woman who did not survive getting shot in the 2800 block of East New York Street during an apparent carjacking. While the multiple shootings outside the saloon is rare, people who live nearby say the violence is not rare. Uh, there's fights every weekend, but no, no shootings. Since the shooting, family and friends have started a makeshift memorial out front of the saloon here. It's made of teddy bears, candles, and flowers. If you have any information that can help in the shooting, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously. That telephone number is 317-262-TIPS. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Steve. And Eyewitness News reached out to Indianapolis Metro Police about the violence we've seen already this year. 16 murders, and we still have a couple of days left in the month. That compares to eight last January, and remember, 2017 set a record with 154 murders. Now we put all of this year's murders on a map for you. You can see the majority of them are happening on a stretch toward the east side between Washington and 38th Street. 